Hi, it's Constant Angler. Um, happy you joined me again today. Uh, we've come up to some wrasse. It's challenging conditions. We've got some clarity, so that's really good. Good old swell. It's getting towards end of October, and uh, we're open for some big girls. I haven't been able to get down to this mark this time of year yet. Last time I was, we I was with my buddy Robin, and we fished the pants off the place, but. No real, real biggies. I, I'm due some four pound wrasse. I haven't been able to uh, bag any of them late. Uh, but that's how fishing goes. You can't uh, pick what to end up on the end of your line. You can do things like use bigger baits and uh, different baits that sometimes will help. But uh, yeah, anything can pick up your bait in the end, can it? So we might have a go for bass as well when the tide floods. See if there's any of them about. Uh, depends on many rats I'm catching. But let's give it a go. gully I got here if you can see it it runs back in here it's a bit coloured and turbid there but clearer as you go out and my plan is hopefully there's a little bit of shelter in there enough to get a rasp but you'll see there's quite a swell so safety wise I've got a life jacket on so I'm going to keep my distance just because I've got a life jacket doesn't mean I'm going close I also have that long-handed net that I've uh, Sort of push for a while now since the start of my channel the Daiwa Rockfish 5.9 meter net. You don't have to have that one, that's the one I use and I found it reliable. They're, they're hard to source now, but I think they do a newer version. You need that here. I'm looking to see where is a safe spot at this state of the tide to land a fish, and I would say I'll probably go here and land it down there with a nice length of net. It'll be fun because it'll be moving around all over the place, but we should be able to, to move in the rod, holding the net as still as possible, get a fish in if we get one. Very bouncy gully at the moment. Wasn't really what I wanted. Alright, I'll we'll try a little bit further out there. Normally it's important to have your rod at 45 degrees. Um, that's not always possible when you're trying to manage the bow in your line, you're up higher. It is fine on beautiful calm days, but oh, oh there's oh blow me. He should have been on the end. Right, we're going to Ned's because we've had a few bites now, um, and I think they're grabbing the tail. So we're going to stick on a Ned. All right, we'll go with black because dark colour is obviously working. We haven't hooked a fish yet, but we've had two good bites. Oh, I got a big hook on here. And that last one felt like a small fish. Bury the hook in there. Yeah, and I seem to be missing loads of bites as well. We're into a bit of weed there. Which I, I can't fuck on it. I, I, I was thinking about trying to take a uh, Carolina rig to give them a bit more to put in their mouths, a bit more before they feel the weight. But uh, not in these bouncy conditions like this, was that a tap? This is way too bouncy to be fishing the Carolina today, I think. It would just wave all over the shop. The fish would be able to get over the dam. Oh, is that a pull? It just waves. There's a... Yeah, got one. Doesn't feel bad. It's running, so that usually means a smaller fish. Yeah, it is a smaller fish, but we've got one. So we just need to get down to get it now. Yeah, I thought it was a smaller fish. Nice, nice thump though. Really good thump. All right, as I said, I don't want to get too close, do we? Well, hopefully, that's filming. And he's in the net. So, let's, he's got a little bit of weight to him. Find a gully away on the black net. Take some nice photographs and things. If we find a nice deepish gully, you'll be very happy. <sighs> nice green camo one. Right. 
And if I do all of this here, let's put him in there, cover him with a net. Right, we're going to take the hook out and then I'm going to let him rest while I get set up. There you go. in the net keeps them calm there's a setup you can see that that net in the water here it's quite buoyant but you can see that glitter that red particularly showing the silver and the green and this is why I believe they work so well they just look like a lugworm uh, we'll get this fish out now I want to take some photos um, yeah and then we'll release it There we go, nice little camo wrasse. Going back here, let's keep an eye on the waves. Lock out the net as we go. Probably won't see that much of the release actually because of uh, the sun. If we can turn the net inside out, he'll be away. There he goes. All right, let's just fling it across here. He might get the fish over there any minute now actually. Oh, there's a pull. Yeah, that was a decent tug, but as I lifted... Go on, take it again. Very cagey, that was. Definitely a fish, though. Come on, fish. There's Paul. Yeah, got it. Only a small one again. There's a lot of small fish in here. I'm actually going to net it. Beautiful coloured fish. If we can see it down there. Yeah, lovely coloured fish on the net. Only little, you see the colour of its belly there. All right, let's get him up. Tiny little fish, that one. But you can see the Ned there in his mouth. Let's take him over here. Feeding so aggressively on these Neds, they're rocking themselves on big hooks. That there is such a stunning little fish. If I can put the net down and actually pick it up and show you, look how beautiful the colours, look at the colours on the belly of that. I love catching these fish, I don't care if they're big. You get a big one and it's just blows you away but these little ones you know they're fantastic things we're going to go over here to release this one let's watch the tide a bit we're sheltered here just want to put him in this gully you see the little little beauty just swim away uh, no i don't know whether that was a good release shot or not but the dark skies we couldn't see a lot so if it gets a bit chewed up at the end and you ain't got enough uh, plastic there to hurt, work with it, just, just bite the end off. Get some new plastic there. Short ones have a little, but uh, we've effectively had three wrasse on this one already, haven't we? And uh, as we know, they are toothy critters and they bite your baits up. But to catch three, three uh, fish on a, on a bait is good. Especially smaller fish, because they really tear you about. There, we're, see how we're making, we've opened this up now, the same as we're doing with the Neds. You know, and you can see I can just tuck that in there now, I don't even need to expose it. And what's going to happen is, look, boink! There. You can see this uh, Max Catch Crawl here, it's in a different colour, it's part of my giveaway. But it's a very big bait and I had to take a bit off the end to uh, rig it on the 2 hook that I was using. Uh, you can move up to like a 3 hook and it sits lovely on that and really target the big wrasse on it. Didn't seem to happen on the day, but I had an instant bite with it the minute I changed. It was actually in the watermelon uh, green color that they do. Great baits, great scent. Guess they get, uh, it's like a squiddy sort of flavor. Uh, quite a salty bait as well. Excellent baits, Max Catch, cannot fault them. All right, still all looks good. Right that way a bit. We'll 
fish this bit. For half an hour, if we don't pick up a fish in a half an hour, we are definitely moving. I damn well should have done. Yeah, got one. Not a big one. But I got one. It's only little, I think. Yeah. Feels bigger in the swell. We're swimming in. There, he's in the net now, I think. Yeah. Let's find a decent little walk pool. Here. So this little fish again, this seems to be the order of my rouse fishing at the moment. He's only little again, but he took a blooming great big crawl bait. You can have a look at that. But there he is. There, go ahead. There. Another little stocky ballon rouse. Where have all the big fish gone? Let's put him back safely on a match catch bait again. Oh, I just love those baits. Uh, I want to put him in the gully over there so he's away from the swell. Uh, best I can. Yeah, it's just coming up too much over there. Let's put him in over here. We put him in out there. Let's lock the net. He should. Should. There he goes. Yeah, he's going the right way. I am shattered. I got beat up by the fish over there. Just managing three, maybe four small ones. I, I can't remember now. Um, yeah, it was sweaty, it was rough. It was rolling my ladder around a bit too much, which is why I was really struggling and uh, it was hard work. I uh, hooked one good fish, but the hook just snapped off. Well, the hook didn't snap, it snapped above the hook. I uh, guess I just got a nick on the fluorocarbon. I've walked a good half a mile further down to find milky colored water. There's enough visibility to catch a ras, but it wasn't what I was hoping for. I thought it might be better. Let's this swell off the back of Storm Barber or whatever it was that came in a few days back. Typical, it came in on the week. Let's try and get my hoodie back there. Week that I've booked off. I was really hoping to get down here all week or most of the week on some good tides and give it a real good go, but I've had to settle for neat tides, which I think are a bit bigger than I think. But we'll give it a go. I'm going to stick it straight in with a pink lure because that's what I do when it's milky and see what happens. set exactly where I wanted it oh I got a fish and it feels like a good fish it is a distance mine yeah it's a reasonable fish literally you can see him skiing in I'm skiing a bugger in he's not massive but he's a decent fish and it's another fish to these neds. Actually, he's not as big as he looked out there. Surfing in. He took that near enough on the drop. Hopefully you can, uh, if I can get the net right, you can see him. Pretty much hooked himself that one. Um, this rock pool here. Let's get myself organized. Right. So we got ourselves a little stunner. He's not big. Again, there seem to be a lot of smaller fish around. Um, but at range, he took a bit of bringing in. He's prob probably a good pound, pound and a half. Whoa, 
he's over the rock pool there so put on the Rooney's Ned pink with black core shot just pop him back in there <sighs> let's put him back and dive for the bottom of the net there he goes look at that that'll be a nice release really shot different gully I tried for Nest Fry and Champagne Shad from uh, Festivals. What was that? Just showed his head out there. Right, let's get it rigged the right way up. A bit bigger bait. A bit bigger shad than normal, but oh, I want a bigger fish. There. Nice size bait. Nice colour, really. A bit of a peppery brownie colour. That's better. That's where I wanted it, on the edge of that weed bed. Alright. So it's right on the edge of it now, so I'm just going to leave it a second. Just in case he's landed in front of some fish. And then I'm going to hop it twice. Maybe even three times. And leave it again. Alright, nothing, so we'll work it back. And then we'll go back to where we were. Because we're not contacting anything here. Yeah, I thought I might have hit something here, but no. Alright, uh, I'm going to go back to uh, my pintails now. And I hope it's some bigger ass. I'm going to try a crawl. I'm going to move. A few cats there and I'm going to move. First different area. There's a fish. See that thump that? Oh, he could. He's having a go at it. He's not big, but he's obviously followed it in, I think. Yeah, got him. Oh, he's pulling a bit at close range. Look at this for a fight. Crawling on that. He ain't big again, is he? But look at that. What a pull. What a fight. What a bite. Beautiful colours on this one. Oh, a little bit more weight to him. Solid fish again. He followed that all the way in, I reckon. Beautiful colour. I, I love the colours of these. You see him down there. What a stunning animal. Right, here's what we had it on. An FS Lure Champagne Shad. Nice fish, but there's bigger to come if they're feeding. We'll stick with the shads for a minute then. Alright, we can get right down close to this release on this fish. Let's just let him rest in the net a little. He looks as though he wants to go already, doesn't he? So let's let him get his his breath back. If he really starts kicking, then we'll let him go. You see, they just hug the sides of the the net. Right, he's ready to kick. Then see, here he goes. There he is. There he goes. Excellent. I uh, stuck on one of my. Um, favourite pintails it's this dark bait we've got a dark sky I want that shadow that bait to be seen oh there's a bite that was a reasonable thump yeah got him yeah he threw a reasonable fish yeah he feels a good fish he's pulling a bit of drag got to keep him up yeah he's okay he ain't huge so there, that changed to a darker bait. Not a big fish. But oh, did he pull. He's very similar size to the one we had last. And very similar colouring. I seem to be catching a lot of them at the moment. Hopefully you can see him down there. 
Yeah, similar fish, two pound fish. At least we're contacting them there. It's a finer rock pool, away from the water's edge. Here. Yeah, a similar colour, similar stock of fish. Oi. I'll film one look in this fish. He's about two and a half, two and a quarter pound. Solid, solid fish, this one. Yeah, lovely solid fish. Taking on the pintail on the Texas rig. There we go. What a beautiful animal. Red eyes, red mottling and everything. Let's put him back. There he is. We changed to a dark bait and straight away we hit. It's a dark skies, dark bait. All right, let's watch the swell. Let's get a nice little release shot. This fish, we're okay here. No worries. Uh, let him recuperate. So he's ready to go. He's diving for the net, bottom of the net already. So there he is, straight down the edge. Um, that was hard work today. I think I had about six fish. I had two off of here that were bigger than around the corner, which is surprising because I thought bigger fish would be out there. Um, so we had a couple of nice two and a half pound wrasse here. Uh, one to a, a shad bait and one to one of my pintails. Um, but yeah, it's a hard day, but a good day we caught some fish. Lost the best fish of the day again, which seems to be happening all the time at the moment. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.